I'm almost dead. He's behind that. There's one over here. Near the bomb. You're gonna get me. Yep. They're healing him over there. Ronan's healing her. Got her up. Might hop the top. Damn. What is going on everyone? Griffin here coming at you with some Anvil gameplay and today we're going to be talking about Anvil. He is now the toughest rogue. So let's head over and check it out. So I'm just going to pull this up real quick for just a second here but with this new Covert Ops update, Anvil has a toughness of 5, which gives him 15% damage reduction to everything. Also in his kit, he has armor, which gives him 75 armor at the legendary perk. He's got bulletproof legendary, 15% less firearm damage to the body. He has epic version of life drain. He has the epic version of replenish. He has tenacity. He also has gunsmith. He is an absolute wrecking ball of a character right now. He is going to be someone, in my opinion, that is going to be banned and ranked like crazy. He might even be like top ban in competitive play. He is an absolute monster. Coupled with the fact that he has the Maul, which is one of the best weapons in the game right now, uh, and the C4, even though the C4 is going to be t potentially getting a major nerf to it soon, and trophy systems like he is stacked to the gills he is a walking machine that can just absorb so much damage he has the ability to move around he has the ability to get in and do flanks set up shop and do good defenses he can push objectives like crazy he to me right now is the most well-rounded versed rogue out of all of them that have been changed in the Covert Ops update. I know that I said that Saint was going to be OP in Season 6. Saint is very much OP with his ability to get his drone back and then heal someone in like a second or a second and a half. That is absolutely insane. But it doesn't matter if you can't burn the anvil down. That just doesn't matter. And whenever you get Gunsmith and upgrade his weapon, he has like over 100 bullets in his clip. That means he does not have to stop firing. That means that if you really wanted to run Mag Slot Machine Gun with Anvil, then he is going to be the most accurate, pinpoint accurate rogue that does the most damage output available. Now that is something that I might make a video on in the future. It's just the Anvil Gunsmith with Mag Slot Machine Gun and just see how that works plays out because it is going to be such a deadly combo but i feel like anvil is in such a good spot right now he might be in too good of a spot and i could potentially see some changes coming to his kit in the future he is not unkillable by any stretch of the imagination he is absolutely killable and i've had my fair share of anvil downs over the last couple of days since i've been playing the update but it allows for more potential whenever you are playing with an anvil on your team because you know that he is going to be able to to soak up so much damage he's going to be able to get into positions to where he can plant his shield in such unusual places that just helps his team out in a gigantic way uh, coupled with the fact that he's got lifeline he is almost like an offhand support at this point he can run up he can plant the shield behind a downed ally and then he can use lifeline to res them very quickly so i could say a lot of support anvils coming out in the very near future and that is something that I'm looking forward to. But have you played the Covert Ops update? And have you went against or played with an anvil? Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, be sure to check that description for links to Facebook, Discord, and Twitter. Those are the places to contact me. And if you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Also, on Thursdays from 8 p.m. until 11 p.m. Central Time, we will be streaming Rogue Company here on YouTube. So if you're available, please stop by, say hello, and jump into a couple of custom matches with us. And then also on Sundays from 10 a.m. until we get tired, my wife and I are doing a We Play series of Bioshock Infinite. So if you're available, please stop by and say hello there. Thanks for watching, guys. 15. I don't hear him. Why are you on the zip line? I'm gonna fucking push up behind him. I'm down. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, good shot! Oh, god damn! I couldn't get out. I got stuck behind that shit. Yeah. Why are they going to B? Are we going to A? She's got the fucking thing. I was gonna go to A, but oh. fuck it. They're certainly in, in, in warehouse. the warehouse. I'm dead. I'm dead as fuck. I shouldn't have done that. There's at least two in there. Yeah, I hear him fucking patty caking around. Dude, he's over here watching one. One's proper on the plant side. Damn, well, there's two over here. On B. They're coming back that way right now. This motherfucker didn't even shoot a bullet at him. Don't plant the bottom. They're still on. Seriously? I was pushing her. She's gonna run away. Go, go plant. Enemies eliminated. Yeah. Yeah, he's committing to it too. God damn it. Yeah, thanks. He don't know what he's doing. Oh, oh, god damn. Oh, fuck. All three of them were on me. God damn it, it hit the corner. They're coming behind They're coming us. in behind. All enemies have been eliminated. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, let me run out and hit it so I can play by myself. Yeah, right. They're going to A again, man. Damn. Bomb has been dropped. Fuck. What is this fuckery? They're pushing up. God damn it. Back up. Hell yeah. Did they fucking surrender? Oh no, we beat them. I, th I see for those last two. God damn it. <laughs> damn. What the hell? Do you get more XP now? I don't know. Let me see. It seems that way. My gun leveled up like crazy, and I did about what I normally, you know. I mean, I'm a little light. A little, light, a little light work over here. Yeah, it ain't no bot match. <laughs> and I can get like 7K in a bot match. 8K, yeah. like yeah, damage. No problems. Yeah. Just, well, they just run at you. 